Hey everyone, what am I doing with this big pile of clothes next to me in my studio? I promise you I'm not doing laundry in the studio. <laughs> but I am, however, sorting t-shirts for Jacob's quilt. I'm going to do a whole series about how this t-shirt quilt comes along. This is for Jacob, who is graduating. Yes, Evan, it's for Jacob, <laughs> who's gra graduating from high school this year. So we're going to call this series Jacob's quilt. And um, I hope you guys will follow along as I go through making his quilt. I mean, look how cute some of these are. I mean, he was like itty bitty. Where's a tiny one? Oh my goodness. There's a couple like super adorable, like, oh, little kid things. Um, here's one, like, <laughs> way cute, right? Anyhow, so my first step with all of these t-shirts is they were given to me clean. So that's your first step. If you're going to do a t-shirt quilt, wash and dry them all. And now I am sorting them into piles just to kind of make it easier for me. So I have a concert tee pile, a like school sports and camping pile, a Jersey pile and, um, traveling pile, like when they went on road trips and whatnot. And that's the first step. The next step will be for me to take all the shirts, and cut them apart and figure out, am I gonna use the front, the back, or both? And then I can kind of lay them out before I stabilize them to try to decide how big do I want each one to be? How small do I want each one to be? Yes, Nivens, we have to pick the size prior, prior to, um, well, I wanna pick the size prior to cutting them all up and stabilizing them. So that's gonna be the first steps once I'm done sorting. So stay tuned for more details about Jacob's Quilt. Bye everyone.